By default, you can generate the define XML by just typing in the output file define XML. Optionally, you can actually generate an Excel file. So you can type in XLS. Note that you can do an Excel file or a Word file or a PDF file and XML. So in this example, you can generate an Excel file just simply by changing the, the file extension and then you can click on generate. This will then export the information into an Excel file that looks very similar to the same file that you can edit within the system. So that all the metadata that's captured within the system can be exported to Excel and when you edit the Excel file, for example, if I were to change this label to a test label and then um, save this, in addition to editing in Excel, there's uh, options such as, for example, in the variable names, you can do a pull down list of all the recommended variable names from the CETA standards and other types of attributes. Um, such as origin, there would be recommendations as to what type of origin values you can assign. So once you've uh, entered all this information, you can re-import that Excel file by clicking on this import button. And all that same information will be captured and placed back into the system. So if you were to generate the XML file, by simply by changing to XML and clicking on generate, you will have an updated XML file with that uh, changed information. So in this case, the label for um, the subject ID has been modified from the Excel file. So this works seamlessly with um, the Excel file for proper review of users that may not have the system, um, they can review and edit the information in Excel.